I don't know how, but I just basically tripped. Um, I think I tripped over a rock. I'm not really sure. It all happened so fast. Um, and I fell forwards. Alright, good morning. It is raining. Hello. I, it is raining. I started my period yesterday. I did not get any sleep. And we are now entering the White Mountains. So Bring it on. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, the guys actually, so Cutie and Tribute decided that we were gonna slack pack today, which is probably for the best since I don't feel well. Um, so we have just gotten dropped off at Kins Kinsman's Notch and we are hiking south to Mount Musalok. Um, and then, yeah, hiking back to the hostel that way. So, here we go. We're entering the Whites. You excited? Yeah, and we hit 1800 today. And we do hit 1800 today. We are now less than 400 miles from Katahdin. So, oh, here we go. I'm excited for the Whites. I'm nervous. It's raining. Um, I'm yeah, out my bag. a lot of feelings, but yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm ready for the challenge. We'll see how it goes. We just have to get through two days of bad weather and then it should clear up after that. So yeah, let's go. We're just taking a lunch break. Um, we're almost done, actually. And uh, it wasn't that bad. But I think part of that might have been attributed to the direction that we were going. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to go down. Yeah, that was the thing. Like The first Probably mile did. and a half that we did was incredibly steep uphill. And I really took my time because of the rain. Like Especially because I fell the other, like, last week on a really, like, nondescript non-remarkable rock. I was just nervous the entire time about slipping. Um, so yeah, it was like a, a tough, it was, a, no, it was, it was a steep ascent, but I, I wasn't tired at all. Um, but I would have hated coming down. So that mm -hmm. would have been worse, I think. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty long descent. Um, some slippy bits here and there, but it, again, it's not too bad. So I say for our first big mountain, it was all right. First white mountain. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, definitely the rain made it trickier for me. I think I was more panicked about the rain, so I was less panicked about the steepness of it and everything. Um, so it made it seem not too bad, I don't think. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, it felt just like Wales, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we decided that it feels just like hiking in North Wales, because we got to the top and we couldn't see anything, and it was a little cold. Um, but it was it, windy, we were in a cloud. Yeah. It was like that mist spraying across you. Yeah, so it's, it was all just very familiar to us. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that went pretty well. Um, so now we are about to actually hit the 1,800 mile marker, even though technically we already hit that at the beginning of the day um, so we'll just get some some footage of that and then make our way down to the hostel um, yeah shower and laundry I know yeah definitely need to do laundry again 
because my feet are just soaked. Do you want one? Um, yeah. Do you want one? Um, but yeah, definitely the day has also been made easier by knowing that we have the hostel to go back to. Mm -hmm. um, I think otherwise I'd be a little more grumpy if I had to tent or something. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Mount Musulak is almost In checked the off the list. Yeah, almost. Almost. And then I can put my sticker on my bear canister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll All do right. the sticker ceremony later. Yes. All right, catch you later. Bye. update so we just got to a road crossing uh, the last one of the day and tribute summoned trail magic show them how you summon trail magic i just did what cutie does and just went like <laughs> so he it, summoned trail magic partly as a joke and it turned out i, was, I did it yeah so not only were those was there trail magic but the craziest thing is that the people doing the trail magic were people that we met on Once. We met once on trail on March 2nd, day six for us. What was it, mile 43? We did, that was, at the end of the day, we got to mile 43. Yeah, so, so it was the first, days, that was the first trail magic that we had encountered on trail. Um, and we met these two people there. They actually helped give tribute his trail name. And then we just emerged out of the woods and here they were. <laughs> this is so crazy. Yeah, I guess, was it Casper and Hummingbird? Casper and Hummingbird. Yeah. So Casper so just fin or finished last month, I think? Yeah, she think? finished last month. Hummingbird was with her just, just, to, do the to, just to do Georgia. Um, and yeah, in the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire, we found them again. <laughs> so that's crazy. I think that's like the furthest apart that we've seen people. And the fact that we only saw them like once so like yeah because they were so fast yeah we saw them at that trail magic talked to them trail name happened and then boom we we're gone <laughs> yeah that's crazy yeah. that's so funny so yeah it's turned out to be a pretty good day so we are on our way to the hostel now um with plenty of time to shower relax all that stuff so thanks for following along good day yeah we'll see what the rest of the whites has in store for us Bye. And welcome to our second day in the Whites. So we got dropped off this morning by the hostel at Kingsman's Notch, which was where we started yesterday. Um, and yeah, so between that point and then the next big highway road crossing to get to another hostel is 16, 17 miles. Uh, but people have specifically said do not attempt to do those entire 16, 17 miles in one go. It's meant to be very, very difficult. Um, so our plan for today is to do eight miles and then to do the rest tomorrow to get to the Notch Hostel. Um, and it's not that we're trying to jump from hostel ho to hostel. Um, it's more just like we wanted to stay at that hostel anyways. It's meant to be rated like one of the best hostels on trail. So we just kind of wanted to experience it, what it's like. Um, they only had one bunk left. So I think one of us, between myself, Tribute and Cutie, one of us is gonna take the bunk, we'll figure out who it is, and then they have space to tent. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so that's, that's the goal for the next two days. Um, I don't think we can plan, sorry. Uh, I don't think we can plan, hi anything more beyond that. This is just such an um, 
I don't know, the section of trail is so different that you can't really stick to a set schedule. Um, so we're just going to take it day by day, see how it goes. Um, it was okay this morning. It's now starting to rain. It's around 11 o'clock. My feet are absolutely soaked um, just because there's so much mud and stuff on the trail um, that I kind of just gave up trying to go around it and I've just started going through it. Uh, so that's my only concern is getting my socks dry at some point, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, catch you later. Hello, um, ignore my crazy hair. Wow. Oh, so yesterday was an interesting day. It took us almost six hours to go, like what, seven and a half miles? Um, so we got to the shelter around 3.30. Uh, I just immediately set my stuff up, ate a lot of food, and then I was in bed by 4.30. Probably asleep by five. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I did get a lot of sleep. It was kind of on and off because somebody came into the shelter around 8 o'clock. Just the loudest guy ever. No concept of an inside voice. Um, so he was just talking at like full volume. Um, not the first time we've had this issue with him, but anyways. So I tried to go back to sleep after that. Our plan was to wake up this morning get going at 5 to catch the free shuttle from the hostel that leaves at 11.30. Um, but I woke up a few times in the middle of the night to hear rain on the shelter, and it wasn't supposed to rain. Um, and I left my socks out, like, hanging on a tree. <laughs> so, of course, they never dried. Um, and then when my alarm finally did go off at 4 o'clock in the morning, it was still actively raining and I think all of us just collectively individually uh, decided that we were not going to go out while it was raining and dark um, to scale this next mountain so we decided to wait for it to pass um, so we got going around 6 30 and we are now making our way up south Kinsman um, I mean everything is still wet so the rocks are still slippy so we've got to be careful. There's no way we're making that shuttle, so I think we'll have to find another way to get to the hostel. But yeah, my priority is just getting down this mountain. Um, we'll see how that goes. So. Shaking, 
Good evening. So we made it to the hostel. Um, we actually got down in pretty good time. Um, yeah, I mean, it was tough the past two days. Today was tough as well. I think mostly just because of the rain. Um, not expecting for it to rain and knowing that we had a lot of like really high scrambles to do. Um, but yeah, I think if it wasn't raining, it was still fun. And if it wasn't raining, I think it would have been even more fun. And the climbs would have actually been rewarding because we could see the views. Um, but the fact that we didn't have any views until we were like well down the mountain, um, just made it seem like everything that we were doing was a little pointless. Um, but at the same time, I think if we had had big views, some of those climbs would have been a little scarier to do just because I would have been able to really see how high up we were. Um, so yeah, but it was okay. Um, it was tough, but, um, yeah, just taking it one day at a time. So fingers crossed from here on out for the next like three days or so, we will definitely have good weather. Um, so we're going to head back out tomorrow. I think probably not until about 11 just because we're really tired. Um, and this hostel is really nice, so we want to enjoy it. Um, so yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to lie down, edit a video, because I have to put one out, um, and then try to go to sleep. And we shall see how we manage to sleep. So we're tenting here at the hostel. We're kind of near a road, so hopefully it's not too loud. Um, but yeah, so we're not heading out until 11 tomorrow, so should at least be able to have a chill morning somewhat. Um, yeah, so I will catch you tomorrow for Franconia Ridge. Bye. We pull in up the curtain that covers this blue sky. Who oh, tell me can you? We float in, in the air We are men in the clouds Floating through the night clouds Setting sails up high and light Let us carry the past And the dust that a fan can hold us Is to spark With a lot of hills, yeah But they will never get us We're running fast as lightning They want to turn back time There is so much peace here We're floating through the atmosphere We light up that a feather Soaring into space Cause I know that you see The world so small from Da-da!
So I didn't really film anything else last night or update because I just really wasn't in the mood. But um, basically we were coming down Mount Lafayette and I don't know how, but I just basically tripped. Um, I think I tripped over a rock. I'm not really sure. It all happened so fast. Um, and I fell forwards and in falling forwards, I basically, there were like a bunch of rocks and like a really soft, um, fallen tree. So I kind of landed weirdly on all of that stuff. Um, and most of it has just got like a tiny scratch here. Um, but I did kind of half land on, let me show you. I landed on this buckle. And I landed on, I think I landed on my Garmin. Um, and in doing that, it basically just, I just felt a really sharp pain in this area. Um, for a second, I was like, I have broken my ribs or something really dramatic. Um, and I can tell it's not that, but it does hurt. Because obviously I fell on things and they just pushed up against me. Um... So that was quite painful. I didn't really want to keep walking too long because of that. So we ended up not reaching the campsite we were supposed to. And we just stealth camped in this little spot here. Um, just off the side of the trail. The trail's like right there, literally. Um, so yeah, we were about two miles short of where we were supposed to end up yesterday. Um, but I would have rather stopped than keep going and if I was actually hurt um so yeah I don't really know what to do I'm a little bit panicked just because I'm a hypochondriac and I google everything and think of the worst case scenario but I think I think what it is I just probably have slightly bruised this area just from falling on these things um but at least I fell on those and not on, like, the tree or a rock, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep going today, see how I feel, um, taking medicine, all that stuff. So I think I can't really do anything else about it um, anyways, from what I've read. So I just got to be careful with it and see, see how it goes. Um... So yeah, that's basically it. That's the update. So um, I don't know. Who knows what we're going to do today? Um, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Welcome to Tales of the Trail. I don't know, do you recall it that? Sure. You can do a new segment. So yesterday, that point there, uh, Mount Liberty, climbed up that, went up to Mount Lincoln, or Giant Haystack. Is it Giant Haystack? Little Haystack. Mm -hmm. Mount Lincoln, Mount Lafayette, and down. Stopped for the night, 
And then today, that pointy one, we started on the other side of that Mount Garfield, down, mm -hmm. went along to that hut, and we went all the way up there to South Twin, and then we've come all the way here. Wow. That's real far. Okay, quick update. Um, whew, today has been very, very difficult. At one point, I think we were just doing about a mile an hour, so that wasn't great. But we managed to get to, I think about 11 miles, 11 or 12 miles to Zealand Hut. Um, <clears throat> and looking at the elevation map, we found out that it, it is pretty flat for the next five or so miles. Um, so we're gonna take advantage of that and we are going to basically try to hike as far as we can. I think it's around 7.45 right now. Um, and we might be able to make it to the shelter we originally planned. So if not, there are some um, stealth tenting spots in about two miles. Um, but this path seems quite merciful, so I, I don't think I would mind a bit of night hiking. I've got my flashlight ready anyways. So worst case scenario is we turn up at the campsite about 9.30. Um, so yeah, who knows? Um, wish us luck, whatever happens. morning um, so we're just packing up right now um, to get going again so obviously we chose the um, not obviously but I mentioned yesterday we had two options of places to get to either a stealth site or the actual shelter but it was getting to be like 8 30 um, we still had like just over two miles to go and I really didn't want to show up to the shelter and disrupt people quite late um, so and I really hate setting up my stuff in the dark so anyways we just decided to stop at the stealth site which was actually really really nice um, but now we are thinking about what we're gonna do so our plans have been thrown into a bit of chaos because of the weather so today is Monday starting tonight it's meant to start raining and then tomorrow, it is supposed to be absolutely terrible, like rain, thunder. And tomorrow was meant to be the day that we were going to summit Mount Washington. And if you know anything about Mount Washington, that is the last place you want to be in bad weather like that. So I think we're going to be forced to take a weather zero. Now, looking ahead on the map, the only places between here and Mount Washington to stay at. There are no shelters other than the one in two miles. Um, the only places that there are are the AMC huts. 
So I don't think I've explained this before, but basically in the whites, you, the Appalachian Mountain Club operates these um, these places called huts. And they're kind of like bed and breakfasts almost. So you can stay there, um, you can have lunch, dinner, that kind of stuff. Um, but the problem with that is that they are not for through hikers. They do not cater for uh, this crowd. Um, instead, they're much more for day hikers, people out for the weekend. Um, they are very expensive. It's like a hundred plus dollars a night to stay there. And all you get is meals and a bunk. There's no shower, no laundry. Um, and they're often reserved really far in advance. So there are two huts between here and Washington. Um, the chances of us being able to hunker down there are slim to none. Um, apparently we've been told by many people that they, they don't care who, you know, if you're through hiker or not, which is, I mean, that's kind of the vibe that I've been getting through the whites is there's so many people that are out here hiking, um, that we're just another, another you know, another set of people in the crowd. Um, so yeah, the, the chances of us being able to stay at one of these huts is pretty slim. Um, yeah, that's the other thing with, with the whites is that You've got your hut options, you also have your shelter camping options, but for those, you have to pay to to camp. It is $10 for every campsite. If you're a through hiker, you can buy a pass, where you pay $10 for the pass, and then I think it's like $10 for your first campsite, $5 for the next ones. Um, if you even want to stop at a campsite to use the privy, you have to pay money for that. Um, and as someone who heavily relies on privies as like their bathroom stops, I'm not doing that. Um, we have been stealth camping so far just out of necessity because we can't get to where we need to be. Um, but yeah, it's a little, it's a little pricey. I can understand why some people, um, have beef with the AMC. It's not like in the, the Smokies, or Shenandoah, where you pay, like, a set entry fee as a thru-hiker. No, you gotta, like, pay per site. Um, and I guess if you get through the whites quite slowly, that's gonna start to add up. So, yeah, we don't really... Short, long story short, we don't really have a lot of options for where we can stay. Some of the huts do offer, like, work for stay, but they're very, very strict. You can't ask for it before 4 p.m. It's only two people who are allowed to do it. Um, so like one of the huts that we passed yesterday, there was someone who already showed up before and asked for work for stay. So, I mean, even if there was one more spot left, that still left another person, we would either, yeah, basically we didn't have an option, um, to stay there. So that's where we are. Um, I think what we're going to do instead, there's a road in about five miles and there's a place backtracking to Lincoln, New Hampshire, where we were a few days ago at the Notch. There is another place there that, um, it's like an old, it's like a ski club. Um, but there's a lot of through hikers that stop by there. I think it's like $50 for your first night, $25 for each, um, night after. So I think that's what we're going to aim for is to get picked up at this next road and get taken back um, into Lincoln to stay at that ski club because we'll definitely need to stay there tonight and then tomorrow night. Not sure what the weather's doing on Wednesday. Um, does it, I don't think it looks good either. So yeah, decisions, decisions. Um, I'm just also really exhausted, so we'll see. But yeah, I need to finish packing because we need to get going. So um, I will catch you later, let you know what's going on.
every time you leave Well, I, I just can't wait Well, life keeps dragging me on I've got to go There's so much to see in this world I just have to know I want you to stay Time you smile, you know, you take me away. There's something I could say. Well, hey, I'd say it right here. Every time I leave, I think, I think of your Okay, hello. When did we last speak? Um, it was probably two days ago when we got to the hostel back in North Woodstock. So yesterday we had a zero day because of the weather. We might have been able to push through, but I don't know. We just didn't want to risk it. Um, we had a friend that carried on and he said he was all right, but I think different people have different comfort levels and I don't know if I would have felt comfortable trying to summit Washington yesterday. Um, and today, we have been looking at the weather and we knew that today was going to be worse anyways. And when we woke up, you couldn't even see any of the mountains. Um, so I had to take another zero day today just to wait for it all to pass. So I think we're going to go back out tomorrow um, and continue on with the whites. Um, it's definitely been hard, um, and if you did any amount of basic research before you started your through hike, you would know that it was going to be hard, um, and then everyone's been telling us that since Georgia anyways. Um, so it's nothing we didn't expect. Um, Still doesn't mean it's not hard work though. But the other thing is just with the fall that I had the other day, I'm, I'm feeling better. Um, I have some, like I fell kind of on here um, and that even is still a little bit tender to the touch. So I know that like the pain near my rib is not gonna go away anytime soon, but it definitely is better. Um, and it's definitely not any long-term damage or anything. So I'm thankful. For that. It does still make me nervous though. Um, I do do find that it kind of zapped a little bit of my confidence. Um, I wasn't rushing or anything so it just makes me feel like I have to go even slower on the downhills and such. Um, so I do feel a little bit shaken up by the experience because you know I don't want it to happen again. I don't want it to happen to tribute. So, I mean, I already knew that I had to take it slow, and I was taking it slow when I still fell. So, yeah, I just feel a little bit nervous about going forward from here um, and what the rest of the whites 
has in store. Um, I'm aware of certain sections um, up and down certain mountain peaks are particularly difficult, so I'm just watching out for those and yeah, there's not really much I can do other than go slow, which we've already been doing, so I don't know. I think this whole experience really is just a test of of patience, of um, to some extent perseverance, but just kind of learning to go with the flow and not try to push nature past what it intends for you. So yeah, I think this is the first time we've ever taken, other than when we went, um, we had a break for some family stuff in Virginia. This is the first time we've taken a double zero, um, which I was initially a little hesitant about, but like, what am I going to do? Go out in a rainstorm, a thunderstorm? I don't think so. So this is what has to be done. So I think I'm trying to take this as a lesson that um, the mountain isn't going anywhere and nature is obviously telling us that we should not be going up there right now. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to listen to nature because I think ultimately humans humans don't conquer mountains mother nature lets you summit things when it wants you to um so it could very quickly turn um into a situation where you know the weather goes badly and you're not able to summit so I'm not trying to have that happen to us so yeah, I think that's where we're going to wait for tomorrow. I don't think we'll have particularly nice weather tomorrow still, but it won't be as bad as today. I think we might try to aim for um, the hut just before Mount Washington and then summit on Friday when the weather's actually going to be decent. I guess there's not much else to it. I'm just going to try to spend the rest of the day getting some last... Uh, relaxation in, some editing in, um, and I guess the next time I see you will be from the rest of the whites. Fingers crossed, um, the weather's better, the conditions are better, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. See you in the next video. Bye. Stay. I want you to stay, honey, I want you.